Uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady use the power of engineering to help you guys you find all things you want on DigiKey.com. What is a great search of the week this week? Okay, so this week, uh, hold on. Show letters. Wait, cancel. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so let's go to my computer. Um, oh, can we go to the computer? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this week um, I'm working on a bunch of boards and a lot of them have modes or configuration bits that you want to set. Like this CH9328 um, is a UART to USB HID chip and it has four I.O. pins that you can select different modes. So like one mode is when it gets ASCII characters, the ASCII characters um, are typed by the keyboard. And well, there's another mode where you send hex characters instead and you know normally what i would do is have little jumpers or something you know and, and you would cut or solder the jumpers um or you could use uh through hole jumpers so another thing is um max 98 so on like this audio amplifier board i use well, it's hard to see here i use uh you can select a gain i use um a two by four male header uh connector and then a little jumper a little uh you know a little handle jumper and you plug it into what game you want 9 12 15 18. the problem is a lot of people lose the jumper i mean this is very inexpensive um, and it can pass high current but if you're not passing high current like if you're using it for selection not for like power manipulation you only have to pass like a amp or 10. People lose this, this like gets bent. Um, people, you know, accidentally maybe put two or I don't know, it's confusing. And of course it's kind of tall. Um, if you want something slimmer, uh, you know, a, a dip switch is the way to go. And uh, we use dip switch on, I think audio amp. Uh, let me see which one it was. It was like the TPA, oops, oops yes. Second. Sorry, I can't type. Um, here you go. So on the TPA 211, um, to set the gain, this is like a later design. I was like, oh, I'm going to use a dip switch. And so you can set the two bits of the game by flipping the switch. And um, what's nice is you don't lose the little handle. It's a lot slimmer. So you can see it doesn't rise up more than like a couple millimeters um you know of course you can set both at the same time that's the only thing is make sure that your design doesn't break if people flip two switches at once um so i prefer these now i mean this is a, a newer design um but for this board the issue is i wanted to keep it nice and compact um and so i was looking at a uh temperature sensor from core electronics and i saw like oh they have a really compact dip switch to select the address. And I was like, ooh, I didn't know these existed. I thought that dip switches only came in um, this, you know, 0.1 inch, 2.54 millimeter pitch. So um, I went on a search at DigiKey because they have everything. So I was like, I bet they have these fine pitch dip switches. So first you look for dip switch. And you see you have dip switches, although this is like one a dip switch, not dip switches. Usually you want more than one. And as usual, let's only look for active. Uh, I only want stuff to be in stock and I only want uh, surface mount. Through hole is, you know, very popular, but, uh, you know, this is like a through hole style. But I want a surface mount because I want to pick and place it. And uh, I want it to be in stock also. So really narrow it down. Um, next, the number of positions I want specifically in this case is four because there were four GPIOs on this CH9328 to select. So let's do four position. And then, um, again, the pitch is, you know, the, the current doesn't matter because like I said, it's, this is a three volt chip, so I don't need a voltage rating that's high. I don't need a current rating that's high. Um, but I do want a pitch, so I want half pitch so i'm going to select uh 1.27 although it looks like they even get thinner but i think more than half is going to be tough for people to switch um mechanically okay so now we're down to 38 options which is which is great so let's look at some of these options 
Um, these look really good. You know, some of them have the pads underneath. You know, you're even smaller. Um, these are cute. Uh, there's the piano style, which is, you know, adorable, like a little piano switch. But that's going to be, I think, more than, I mean, I think I'm going to go with this, with this style. And uh, I kind of like the J leg a little bit more than the underneath. I feel like it would be more, I mean, I don't, it's probably not technically more mechanically stable, but it feels like it would be. So let's get rid of the piano um, style. So let's do slide. And I think like that's, you know, 30 entries. Okay, that's a pretty good amount. So then, um, you know, I'm going to want, oh, they moved this down. So, you know, I'm probably going to want like about 500 at a time. Oh, another thing is I want it to be in tape and reel or cut tape. I don't want tube or bulk because I want to be able to pick and place it on the pick and place machine. So I'm going to get rid of the tube packaging because a lot of times they're available in both. And we do have what's called a tube jiggler on the... Um, pick and place but it's like kind of flaky and picking like tape is much much better so let's only search for tape and then um let's just look at uh the least expensive so it looks like a couple options here um this one this one one from cui you know this one looks like a little bit nicer but it's a little bit more expensive um like this one i like how it has a little um under dip so it kind of depends if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, you can go for uh, the CUI ones. They're they're like very reliable and known. And like I said, I like the, the J leg. I don't like this style. But if you're just going for like pure cost, this one's going to be the least expensive at like 70 cents per quantity. Um, it looks like it's a little bit recessed. So like, you know, people will need to use like the point of a... Um, uh, a pen to get to it but you know i've used the cts series ones and, and they're they're very reliable so this is the uh 2184 lp so low profile um it's sealed with top tape which is good and then in real packaging so this is my pick you know they've got a lot in stock too so that's a good sign um for connections slide style half pitch fairly inexpensive and available on tape and wheel so this is my choice for the great search very useful you'll see this in a couple products that's your search Wait.